Okay, guys. So, I wanted to do a more positive video, and this is going to be a positive video for some. Um, for all my Texas viewers out there, it's probably not going to be, because I'm going to indulge myself in the time-honored tradition from our forefathers who invented this country of taking the piss out of my fellow Americans. <clears throat> I want to divert your attention here, folks. Because both Missouri, here's the thing I've, I've begun to like about my state. I used to I used to want to be a Texan, and then I began to notice things. And I noticed something the other day, because I for some reason YouTube put, um, who is that Hassan guy from the Young Turks, into my chat, <clears throat> or into my recommendeds. I didn't know what the heck I was getting into. But I mean, this guy is a lying little punk like nobody's business. But we're not talking about that little liar. What we're talking about is there was a... a deal where they said they, he was critiquing a documentary about firearms and open carry and they said something in there in the documentary that got me stopping i thought wait what texas what texas requires what and then i got to looking and it is true so here's the thing i want you to concentrate here on the blue parts generally this this is from uh this is from texas state law liberty Okay, so anyway, generally, Texas requires individuals to obtain a license to carry, LTC, in order to carry handguns, either openly or concealed. <laughs> what, what, what kind of communism are y'all living in, Texas? <laughs> generally requires, meaning that nine times out of ten, you have to get this license to carry a handgun. <laughs> we're we're going to take y'all's 2A status away from you. For, for those of you that are wondering, you know, where do I live? Oh, oh, I because I can hear the Texans right now. Where do you live at? What, te what state do you live in that's better than Texas? All right, Texas is great. I live in the great state of Missouri, mind you. Let's see if I can put this in blue here. Get this blue in. So anyway, this is Missouri's law on this. Missouri became a constitutional carry state in January 2017. No permit is required to openly or conceal carry a firearm. Not a handgun, a firearm in general. That includes just about everything I can legally own. But the state still issues permits on a shall-issue basis for reciprocity with other states. I have to get a, the only time I am required to get a permit in the state of Missouri is if I want to take my gun to Texas. Okay? Or Florida. Think about that for a moment. You have to have, Texas has to have a permit to carry, a Texan has to have a permit to carry his long iron in Texas. In my state, it's like, well... If you go outside of the state, you will probably be required to have a permit because, you know, that's that's part of our treaties with other states. But inside the inside Missouri, we don't give a fuck. And the funny thing about Missouri law is, um, for those of you that are wondering about the Walmart thing, well, you can only carry handguns in Walmart. Uh, let me let me explain this to every single Texan out there that's watching this that is going to be pissed off. State of Missouri dictates that if a article of your clothing is merely covering any surface area of your firearm, it is concealed. Before constitutional carry was implemented, people were getting arrested and charged with felonies because a half inch of their gun, the hammer of their firearm, was being caught, had gotten underneath the, the bottom hem of their shirt. Full firearm being seen, but because the law dictated that any article of clothing covering the firearm was concealed, that is the precedent in the state of Missouri. <clears throat> you became a felony. That's one of the reasons why we did constitutional carry, because people were being made accidental felons. And so Missouri just forgave a bunch of those and, and said, you know what, here, we'll just make constitutional carry. You don't have to have a concealed carry license anymore. It's making accidental felons. This is unlawful. Yada, yada, yada. 
Well, so now, um, if I put, if I walk into a Walmart with an AR-15 underneath my coat, even if half the gun is sticking out the bottom, like a giant donkey dick, that's too big for my pants, uh, it's still considered concealed in the state of Missouri. So I can still walk inside of a Walmart. <laughs> they have to prove I'm not concealing the gun. And when it goes in there, it's probably going to go under Missouri law. I'm not saying people should try this, but I mean, by law in Missouri, you could do this. <laughs> I don't I don't know. We're going to have to revoke y'all's 2A status. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, and I know, I know people say don't mess with Texas, but I'm sorry. I'm freer than Texas is, so I feel like messing with y'all slaves down there right now because y'all looking like a slave state here pretty soon. <laughs> They're going to start telling you guys how many rounds you can have in your gun before long if y'all don't get control of this nonsense. Anyway, for all you virgin Texans out there, I am the last Raider. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe this Chad Missourian on his channel. <laughs> and as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now. <laughs>